Hey what's guys Pro here welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today we're going to be using the royal giant the evolved royal giant it's my second favorite evolution I'd say I really do enjoy using it this is the deck we're going to be using again today and here we go so let's jump into a game and we'll see what we can do here we go guys game number one right now we are facing this dude right here so let's get these skeletons down right now if i sound a bit different it's because i've got some like slight cold or something i'm not really too sure my nose is partially blocked so it should be hopefully not too bad but again it is what it is unfortunately so we've got the hunter down we've got the skeletons down we did have the hunter down should i say of course you did get fireballed right there this guy seems to be using hog rider 2.6 so what we'll do is i do fully expect to see the hog rider i'm going to go phoenix really high up for the musketeer hopefully she manages to take the musketeer out is the phoenix i don't even know i'm not going to go there actually so I'm going to Fisherman. It might be a bit late. The Hog might get a shot off or something. Hopefully it activates the King Tower. Nope, of course it doesn't. So that's cool. Awesome. Great start to the game. We are, of course, losing. He does have the Cannon. He does have the Fireball. He is using Hog Rider 2.6, of course. So it should be, shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. We should hopefully be able to get some decent push here. He does use Fireball, which is what I really wanted him to do, to be honest. We'll go in with the Phoenix in the middle, just to try and take this cannon out as quickly as possible. He does go with a very late Ice Golem. Then we'll go Fisherman right here for anything else. The Evolved Royal Giant takes out the Skeletons. I completely forgot it does that. If you saw my video on the Evolved RG the other day, I pretty much did the same thing. Someone tried to deploy a Skeleton Army. And I managed to completely forget what the Royal Giant does. And I logged the ground. So, well, I just logged the tower because the Evolved RG killed everything. So, Skeletons are down for the Musketeer. It should be okay. I fully expect a Hog Rider in a second. So, I'm going to try and get a Royal Giant down for some quick snipes. Hopefully, he doesn't expect it. So, we're Hovering Hunter. Looks like he's actually quit the game so we'll go all in right now we'll get the fisherman down to try and tank for the phoenix we'll get the e-spirit down we're trying to cycle back to the evolved rg right now and then this one should be a an easy wrap up so we'll take the three crown whilst we can i'm happy to get a three crown of course it, it helps i think there's a, a pass that i need to max out or something so every little helps <laughs> here we go guys game number two right now we are facing this person right here not entirely too sure how to say their name but it should be okay so we do see the dark prince not really too sure what we're facing as of yes of course so we'll just have to see we'll get the royal giant down actually i know it's a strange play we see the magic archer so hmm this one's rather interesting we will get the perfect fireball right here oh we nearly hit the knight as well if we hit the knight that would have been quite funny but i mean of course we didn't so the knight will that's good the phoenix worked perfect perfectly right there so i'll go ahead go with the fisherman well this one's going really really well actually so at least my gameplay is going well the commentary isn't of course well at least i don't think it is well it could be a bit better but I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So let's focus back on the game. We do see the Dark Prince yet again. I'm not really too concerned about the Dark Prince because the Fisherman will do some decent damage to it. And then I'll just go with the E-Spirit in the middle in just a, a moment right here. So that's fine with me. He should not hit the tower with the charge. The, the normal Prince might have done, but this one definitely wouldn't do. So, okay. Mega Knight from the opponent. Interesting. We will... I'm tempted to fireball, but I just don't think it's the play to make. I will go with the hunter over here for the Ewers. And then we'll get the fisherman down. The fisherman was actually quite poor, to be honest. I don't know why I did that right there. He's going to be spamming troops now. We'll go with the phoenix just to make sure the knight doesn't do anything. And of course, he's got the hog rider down. So that's annoying because there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Do you know what? I'm just going to log it. I forgot the king was up. I wish I logged it earlier now. Because then I could have got a bit more value from it, if that makes sense, from the log spell. Because the Hog Rider would have done a lot less, like, tower damage. So, we'll get the Fireball down for the Magic Archer. I'm just trying to focus on winning now. We are winning this game, but of course, there's 55, 54 seconds to go. So, we shall see what happens. So, we'll get the Fishman down for the Dark Prince. That should be absolutely fine. He might Mega Knight the Bridge. No, that's okay. 
So, okay, Mega Knight is at the back. Here's the opportunity to go in with the E-Giant. Uh, sorry, not the E-Giant. I'm in a different game, apparently. So we see the Knight. We see the E-Wiz. I'm going to get the Hunter down on the right-hand side for the, the Mega Knight. We'll get a High Phoenix down for the E-Wiz. Uh, just keep to, the, the plan there was to keep the E-Wiz out of tower range because otherwise he would get some... Oh, come on. Yes, okay. So the, the Fishman stays alive. That's crucial right there because it means we can go ahead and me make the Mega Knight not jump to the tower. So we'll just cycle back to a log. I'm going to win now. We're just going to wrap this one up, I think. So there we go. So we'll take the log out. Sorry, we'll take the tower out of the log. I'm in my own ward at the minute. So this is quite cool. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Like I mentioned, I'm got some stupid allergy or something but either way let's jump into the next game and see what we can do here we go guys game number three right now let's see what we can go ahead and do we are facing this guy from the clan wizard kings so maybe we're facing wizard who knows he's a, a, apparently one of the kings of using the wizard so or the king of using wizard or, or whatever so we'll get the royal giant down i know it's a strange play sparky oh my word and mini pecker Oh my. Okay. <laughs> so, what in the world? Oh, why have I done that? That is the worst play I could have potentially have done. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please. Oh my word. Okay, sorry. I'm probably being a bit too loud. <laughs> well, maybe not, but we'll, I'll tell you, I'm sure you'll know. But we'll get everything down. He misses the arrows on the troops at least. So we'll go all in with the evolved RG right now. If he goes minion horde, the fisherman should hopefully be able to... Sorry, not the fisherman. The hunter should be able to do some good work to it. We are going all in. I'm going to go for the three crown right now. We are going to get out of this game. Fishman sadly does get eliminated. So does the hunter right there. But we've got the evolved RG still down. We've got a phoenix down as well. I'm going to try and get a fisherman down. Just to make sure we can hopefully get some extra health onto the king tower. Well to tank for the phoenix egg or something. So we shall see what happens. Royal giant's doing work. Royal Giant's a beast. Use the evolved Royal Giant, guys. You can pick up free wins like that. So I will take that. So that's pretty much that. The evolved Royal Giant is absolutely insane. So make sure you do go ahead and use it because it's just a really fun card to use. I'd say Firecrack is my favorite evolution. And then I'd say Royal Giant's closely second. Although I don't really use the Royal Giant too much compared to the Firecracker, I do really enjoy using it when... I eventually do use it, if that makes sense. So there we go. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. We will see where we're at on the pass. Almost tier 79. I'm yet to claim any of it. And we do now have a new emote. So there we go. Pretty interesting emote. I'm sure I'll never use it. But there we go with that one. So we'll claim this reward. And that's pretty much going to be it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I'm actually going to quickly extend the video. I'm going to hopefully get a brand new level 15. Actually, I don't think I've got enough wild cards to do so. Do we? Time will tell. Let's keep converting. Yes, we do. So cool. So I can get a new level 15. What should I get? I mean, it only makes sense to go ahead and I was going to say get the Royal Giant. But of course, I've already done that without even knowing. So what I think I'll do is we'll probably go with... I don't even know. What should I get? What should I get? I quite like this deck. I made a video on this deck the other day. The one with the giant in it. I just showed you a second ago. But I also really like this deck. Do you know what we're going to do? I'm going to see what we... I don't even know. I'll just go with the prince. Why not? I enjoy... Actually, we'll go with the hunter. The hunter works well. Deserves some recognition for its his performance today. So... We'll go with the Hunter. There we go, as I hit my microphone. But anyway, level 15 Hunter, upgrade available. Let's go ahead and get this upgrade right now. And there we go. So level 15 Hunter, nice way to end the video. Well played to the Hunter. I say that like it's actually a person or something. But anyway, enough rambling. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.